everybody, welcome to Malkia Talks. It's that great time again. I'm back in the kitchen. I've got the chef gear on, I've got the cap. The chef assistant is here. We'll talk about that in a second. So what am I making today? Today I'm taking a slight departure from usual and we are actually going to make a regular meal that we have here all the time, but I'm going to make it Wheel of Time themed. Today I am making that amazing thing that everybody loves. So, no, not that. Pizza. Always good. Always. Um, I have a few ingredients for those. Um, not your traditional ones. So I am actually going to make a pizza that is completely constructed based on the White Tower. All seven ages are going to be included on the pizza and I'm making the base from scratch as well, which I've never done before, but I'm quite impressed about. So, A, who doesn't love pizza? B, you know, it's fun, it's Wheel of Time based, you know, let's have a giggle. And I've done some negotiating. Now, for those of you who've watched my last video when I made soup, Nag got very upset. So he didn't want to try the soup, he didn't like the soup, it was vegetarian, but he really, really wants to cook Apparently he knows a really good place around here to get fresh meat. I don't know, but um, on a side note, where have all the homeless people gone now? No? Hmm. Keep telling me he finds this fresh meat, but um, you know, I don't know where he's shopping. And uh, there seems to be quite a, yeah. Um, is there a link, is that why there's fewer homeless? Let's talk about what food we're cooking with today. So we'll have a little look. Now, okay, so we have all seven ages represented. Let me run you through what we've got. So, I've got, I know I'm going cardinal sin, some of you might say, I've got a big old tin of pineapple slices. Uh, it's not all gonna go on, but this is your yellow aja. The pineapple pieces is that. To represent the red aja, I've got some sundra tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Very yummy. We got jalapenos going on for the green arch, a bit of kick there. Grey arch was a little tough to try and figure out. I was like, mm, mushrooms, they're grey on the inside. These are white buttercup. Oh, I was like, uh. so either this would be like sardines or mackerel or something. And I was just like, mm, grey mushrooms, we'll go with that. The blue arch, nice bit of chunky blue cheese there. Wonderful. That's, I love blue cheese, can't go wrong with that. The, the white arch, we've got some mozzarella cheese. I like an extra cheesy pizza, so I've got nice mozzarella cheese there. And the brown arch, at the request of my sous chef Narg, we've got some beef mince, which obviously when you cook that up goes nice and brown. So it's a meaty pizza. So, all seven arches, um represented on this pizza. We've got your, your greys, your blues, your whites, your browns, your yellows, your reds, and your greens. And uh, I think it's going to be a wonderful pizza. But more on that later. Let's get this all prepped up and ready to rock and roll. Narg make prep. Pizza base scratch. Blue cheese, blue aja. Sun dried tomatoes, red aja. Yellow pineapple, yellow aja. Mmm, beef, brown archer, nag smack, brown archer, cheese, meh, yeah, cheese, white archer, mozzarella, grey mushrooms, grey archer, peppers, green archer, two types, jalapeno, regular, too spicy, need base, we do base, cheese, toppings, all seven archer. Pizza! Not like pizza! Hello! Welcome to Caf Chat! Uh, Narg is uh, cooking in the kitchen for me, so although I started things off and sort of just got the ingredients out really, I've kind of left it to him, so I'm having a cup of coffee. A uh, cup of calf, and uh, yeah, just enjoying myself while he makes me pizza. This is nice. He's told me he can cook, and he wants to prove it. Um, and then that way, we, we we struck a little bargain. So what I said was, he was desperate to prove he could stay and cook, but he hated me doing vegetarian dishes. I was like, well, I have to do vegetarian dishes occasionally because sometimes there's vegetarian dishes. It's a part of life. So we came to a compromise. 
Firstly, that he would prove that he cooked, then he could stay. And then if he proved that you know, he did a good job, then um, I'll let him stay and we'll do a meat dish. Um, I'm not sure he says he's got a butcher, quote, somewhere. Um, but I'm not sure about that. We're looking that one, so. But yeah, anyway, how are things going? It's been a while since I've cooked. I've been doing lots of other videos. I've been doing narrations. Um, you know, I've, I've been doing, I did a, an accepted test book tag thing. Thank you, Ritima. That was a lot of fun. And uh, I've been divvying around with some, some new software to, to get my videos a bit slicker. Um, so I've been keeping myself busy. Today's mug is my Slytherin Cauldron pitcher pot. I'm not really sure what it's meant to be. But yeah, I bought this many, many years ago from the Harry Potter store when I was at the... U at the not Universal. <laughs> I was at the London Studio Tours, as I've been four times. Um, and uh, yeah, I bought the mug while I was there. I've, I've bought a few things each time I've gone, and this was one of them. So yeah, this is your mug today on your cap chat. Um, mm, love a good cup of coffee. But yeah, mostly I'm going to talk to you today about the Tam joke search. So, you know, we'll get straight into that. We have um, successfully completed round two now. So I had 64 jokes a couple of weeks ago. The top 64 jokes that were liked uh, by you guys across Twitter and Instagram. And uh, did round one, whipped them down to 32. And those 32 have been taken down, not by me, but by four other very generous content creators in the community, uh, down to now 16. We are at the sweet 16 stage. So uh, big thank you to uh, those content creators who helped me. We started out with Fantology. So great to have them on board. Then we had Reading the Pattern. Thank you very much. We had a um, another turning podcast, um, or another Steve, I think their Twitter handle might, <laughs> the name, not the handle, but the name might say. And then on Friday, we had A Hero's Journey host the final part of round two for me. Round three, uh, again, we've got more content creators diving in and helping me out. So I'm very, very pleased to announce that on Friday, the 16th of October, Ebony, yes, our very own Ebony, part of Dragon Mount team. A lot of you know Ebony. She's um, she's a wonderful person. I've not known her, known her, but I've known of Ebony for years since uh, my original uh, Wheel of Time content contact was all Facebook based in one of her Facebook groups. But uh, yeah, I reached out to her and she is going to host part one of round three on her Twitter account on the 16th. Then on the 23rd, we've got the other half, the other eight going up through the gauntlet, and that's being hosted by the Black Tower Boys. So thank you very much to them for that. The quarterfinals, uh, it will be a single day for the quarterfinals. Is that, uh, is that the quarterfinals? Yes, the quarterfinals. I'm losing track of all of it. So the quarterfinals, um, the Leafcast guys, Brother Dan and Brother Ryan, or uh, Guidance and Traveller, as I know them. Uh, you'll have to check out their channel to find out why. Um, but uh, yeah, they're going to host the quarterfinals for me. Um, the I forget whichever Friday that rolls around to be. And then the semifinals and grand finals will be back to me on my Twitter account. And when we get to the semi-final stage, I will be doing a live stream to let everybody know not just which jokes are left, um, but also to announce a special prize because I will be running a competition for an item, a very exclusive item. There will only be two in existence. I will have one and I will be giving away another one, possibly to you. Who knows? You might not get it. Um, you know, some people will be on my Twitter and won't follow me on YouTube. Um, but I will be running a very, very exclusive competition for a, a two of a kind item, one of a kind item. I am creating myself and I will be giving away, no matter where you are in the world, I will be sending it to you if you win the competition. Um, so you'll have to check out the live stream for that, where I will explain and give you little teasers of what it looks like. So um, you can have a bit of fun there. Narg have all toppings on now. We have mozzarella, white asha, uh, blue cheese, blue asha, uh, green peppers, uh, green mushroom, yellow pineapple, uh, green pepper, uh, Narg not smart enough for pizza. Nog need more brown nausea. Nog, oh, Nog have meat. 
on the sofa um, enjoying a cup of tea and uh, it would seem my sous chef has um, earned his position I'm going to say because I have a very sexy like white tower pizza going on I mean just just look at that oh my god I can't I, I don't want to tip it too far it's gonna fall over but oh my god I'm gonna lift this up a second because you need to see this like check that out oh scrumptious like that, that shit good. So we've got on here a uh, homemade base, first time I've ever made base. And then we've got, uh, obviously we've got uh, blue cheese, white mozzarella. Um, then we've got pineapple for the yellows. We've got jalapenos and regular peppers for the greens. We've got sun-dried tomatoes for the reds. We've got um, minced beef for the browns. And I feel like we've missed someone there. Have we missed anybody? So we've got peppers, pineapple, ah, and mushrooms for the greys. And I think we've got everybody like, yeah, it just looks fabulous. Um, I'm going to pick a piece out of this now and uh, give it a try because I'm just kind of like blown away a little bit by how um, how good this has turned out. Yeah, I think I've got all, 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 all seven items that are in that pizza. All seven ages, yeah? All seven? Yeah, I think so. Right, let's... Uh, Let's give this a bite. Let's, this piece seems to have a little of everything on the go. So how's the base turn out? Oh, that base looks lovely. So let's take a bite. Mmm. Boy, so that's banging. So I told Nard to put sweet chilli on the base. Two reasons. Firstly, it's much more exciting than putting tomato sauce on your base. But if you want to put tomato sauce on the base of your pizza, go for it. But secondly, this is a white tower pizza. And that involves the power. And the power's got a little pizzazz, a little zing to it. So, and sweet chili gives it a little zing going on. But this is, oh. Mm-hmm. Nog. Uh, what? Nog. What? You did a good job, mate. Oh, I did? I get my job? Yes. Yes, you can keep your job. Oh, mm -hmm. no, yeah, no, job. you're fine. No, it's okay. Thank you did a good you. job. Did you? What did you do with the leftovers? No, I keep brown. You ate all the brown asha. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll, that's fine. Oh, you, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, yeah, yeah did oh. you tidy up yet? No. No. No, no tidy up well, yet. I tell you what, what. If you do the dishes. I'll uh, let you go and murder the hobo on the corner oh, of the street oh. for next week's stew. Mm, yeah. I want to play PlayStation first. Let me play PlayStation. Yes, fine. You can play on your PlayStation yes. first. But straight after. Okay? Uh, Good. Thank okay. you. Okay. Right. Um, so, yeah. Wonderful. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed my little take on a White Tower pizza. Feel free to use any toppings you want. If you don't like mushrooms, you can use something else that's grey. Uh, sardines or mackerel or something like that was the only thing that came to my mind. But, I mean, if you like seafood pizza, knock your socks off. Um, if you don't want any spice, obviously you choose regular sauce. You can use green peppers instead of jalapenos as well. If you don't like pineapple on the pizza, use yellow peppers, yellow bell peppers. Um, if you don't like blue cheese, uh, I got a bit stumped here, unless you're going to start making a fruit pizza. Blueberries. Um, but, you know, there's, there's lots of options. If you don't like um, sun-dried tomatoes, red peppers. Peppers give you like three of the arches instantly, you know, very, very quickly. Um, and, uh, yeah, have some fun. Go for it. Um, yeah, the <coughs> seven Aja Tower pizza. Bon appetit. See you guys. <laughs>